Hey guys, hope you're well and welcome to this showcase video. Got a real treat for you today. We've got some Primaris salamanders for you to check out. Half of the Shadow Spear box. Uh, so all the models that come on the Space Marine side of that. Uh, if you're new to Siege Studios YouTube channel, then firstly, welcome. Uh, Siege Studios is a UK-based premium commission miniature painting service uh, with 28 members of staff who all paint uh, our levels of painting, which are from bronze, which is an above tabletop as a minimum, all the way up to competition level quality, which is our platinum level. If you are interested in a commission with us here at Siege, and all you need to do very simply is head to the description of this video where you can find the link next to the text that says get a quote. That takes you directly to the Siege Studios website and our contact form where you can complete that form by selecting the relevant drop down options from those available for your project and in the message section include a list of models in our model list format which is shown on there also. Once completed file it off to us and we'll come back to you with a quote and get the process started. We're back in a second to have a look at these Primera salamanders in more detail. See you guys back shortly. So first up, let's have a look at the characters from this force. Three really, really cool models from the Shadow Spear box. We've got obviously the Lieutenant, the Librarian, and also the Captain. But let's start with probably my favorite model from the box, which is the Librarian. Uh, really cool pose, I do absolutely, absolutely love it. Uh, and Nick is the artist who's painted these stellar models. Now, our client has requested a desert scheme or desert environment for these salamanders, hence the really cool desert camouflage sort of shawls and capes uh, and sort of uh, areas of cloth work that our uh, that Nick has painted for our client. Uh, completely came up with a scheme himself as well, which is really lovely. Uh, and you've got this lovely, lovely brush blended force weapon as well on him. I really do like that they've kept the sort of filigree on those swords as well from the ancient sort of second edition kind of uh, librarians as well. All the text and everything done there on the purity seals. Uh, you've got the little glowing red eyes on him as well, obviously as a Nocturnian brother. Um, and then little flames on the knee pad as well, just on him as well. And uh, I do like the fact that we've got the blue shoulder pad to distinguish in him as a librarian as well uh, just in keeping and it doesn't even though all those colors are on the same palette doesn't really take away from the green armor or other areas of detail work which is really really lovely uh, so that's just the librarian again absolutely love the pose on this model uh, and obviously got his book as well there in a lovely complimentary red to the green uh, so that's just him Let's have a look at Lieutenant. Uh, obviously, Lieutenant in a really cool pose. Looks like he's scanning for another target or just turning to bear on someone, which is quite cool. But you can really see the sharp, consistent edge highlighting that has been achieved on the models for our client. And that is consistent across the whole entire force as you watch it through the video. Um, you've got obviously all the purity seals, everything painted there with scripture, all the lenses done as well, and a really, really lovely finish. Transfers and everything applied. Uh, this guy's got loads and loads of knives, as you can see as well. Um, that's just him in a really, really cool pose. And Nick's done a stellar job. Just getting him to really be finished in a very high quality finish uh, so that's just him and last up out of the three characters we have the phobos captain uh, in a very commanding pose obviously bareheaded there with his glowing red eyes as well all the screens and things done on the servo skull for little flames on the kneecap they've been free handed on uh, and then moving around you can just see the attention to detail on every aspect of this model has been not, nothing has been left we've just gone really to town on it and you can see that cape there again with that lovely lovely desert pattern that nick's come up with for our client uh, and i do love the a uh, little bit of uh, freehand text just on on his pad as well as well which is quite nice so that's just the Phobos captain again you can see every lens and everything done on him as well just to keep it consistent across the force uh, and there's just the Phobos captain uh, we're up next we're gonna look at all the infantry from the army there's loads and loads of different squad types so do stick around that's coming up next see you guys back ever so shortly So last up, let's have a look at all the infantry from this Salamander's Primaris Force. And uh, there's various squads, as you can see. You've got some suppressors, you've got eliminators, and also two squads of Primaris Vanguard. Really, really cool uh, infantry models. Probably some of my favourite out of the uh, Primaris range. Uh, let's dive in and have a look at the uh, normal Vanguard, first of all. Really, really, really cool models. Uh, great posing on them as well, especially this dude chucking a smoke grenade. You can see Nick's done a stellar job picking out all the details and putting a really super crisp edge highlight on those Marines as well. Every little lens and detail all fully painted there. Lovely complimentary sort of yellow lenses on these guys as well, just to really make those eye sockets stand out as well with point of light source and blending on those. Uh, but moving around, really, really super pristine and clean finish. You can see all the transfers and everything applied to these guys as well. Um, but a lovely, lovely complimentary red on all the grenades and things just to really make those stand out on the armor as well, which is lovely. So that's just one of them. Pull forward at the sergeant here with his very iconic um, nocturnian skin, which is obviously the dark black with the red eyes, as you can see there. And then obviously every little bit of detail, all the lenses on the on the guns as you see on the carbines and also all the purity seal text and everything all done there but every little detail fully painted to a very high standard and also all the edge highlighting done on these models in a crisp fashion as well um, so that's just him 
Pull forward one more from this left squad so you can, so you can see the different scopes. Again, here you can see this, this Primaris Marine just advancing there as well. Every single lens all done. But consistency from model to model, you can see obviously how every single one has a super, super lovely finish and also crisp highlighting done on all of them as well. So that's just him. Uh, move across to the other squad while we're here. We've got this dude firing his pistol or his sidearm, as you can see here. But again, every little detail all painted on him. Uh, just move him around so you can see obviously every little bit of a detail that's on him has been painted fully to a lovely fashion. Uh, and all the crisp edge highlighting throughout so that's just him uh, and then forward the forward the sergeant from that squad as well just so you can see him another version there with some scars obviously as well and glowing red eyes just beckoning his brothers on uh, all the screens and everything there fully painted as you can see with little blips and contact dots and details as you can see there which is lovely uh, so that's just the second sort of sergeant model uh, we'll now move on to have a look at the eliminators uh, with their sniper rifles and this is just a sergeant here as you can see with his uh, lovely red view screen on his bin bin binoculars uh, and then moving I think it's bifocals then. And then uh, you've got the lovely um, camo pattern on the uh, shawls as well, or the cloaks as well, uh, just to really... And our client has obviously gone for a desert theme as well, hence obviously why Nick's put on this really stellar, stellar sort of um, desert sign of camouflage on him as well. Again, all the transfers and everything done there, but obviously all the lenses and gems all done in that iconic red complementary colour to the green. Uh, so that's just him. Uh, we'll then pull forward another eliminator. This one's just taking a shot here, but you can see the same consistency from model to model within the unit. All the screen and everything painted there as you can see uh, and then this lovely desert cape that he has got also so that's just him the final one for the unit we'll pull him forward and have a look uh, again taking a shot here obviously bare head but we've got those goggles all the screens and lenses and everything done uh, as per the other models Again, the same consistent desert sort of scheme on the uh, on the cloaks as well, which is really lovely. And uh, Nick completely came up with that as well, which is great. Uh, and then we'll move to the suppressors. Really cool unit. Uh, obviously, massive, massive also cannons. Um, just obviously, you know, lay waste to anything that comes near these guys when they drop in. Uh, but again, really, really, really cool in, in the overall sort of finish of the model. All the areas of detail work are painted, as you can see, in that same consistent and smooth and super sharp finish that you'd expect, obviously, from us here at Siege. Uh, and then we'll move forward and have a look at the sergeant from that squad. Again, bare head as well with all the glowing red eyes. Uh, again, huge belt feed on this guy as well. He's never going to run out of ammo. And uh, again, you can see all the areas of detail done on this guy to a lovely fashion. Uh, and that's just him. Uh, and then we'll have a look at the final suppressor. Uh, again, do really like these models. They do look cool. Uh, and we've got obviously the grenades and everything all done. The purity seals, all the text there, all the edge highlights. And you can see it's sharply and refinedly done. Uh, and that's the final one from that unit and all the infantry shown from this force. I uh, do hope you liked it, guys. We're back again shortly to have a look at the full force again in all its glory. And you can find out a little bit more about how to take out a project with us here at Siege, be it a character, small force or large army. So we're back in a second. Do stick around. So thanks for checking the video out, guys. I really do hope you've liked it. I know Nick has thoroughly enjoyed working on these salamanders for our clients. Uh, if you are interested in a commission bit, a small force like this with some characters and squads, or a full army, or even an individual character to lead your mighty army, then all you need to do, very simply, is head to the description of this video where you can find a link next to the text that says get a quote. That will take you directly to the Siege Studios website and our contact form, whereby you can complete that by selecting the relevant drop-down options for your project and what you require, and also in the message section, include a list of models in our model list format and fire that off to us to get the process started and get a quote back from us. If you are also here on YouTube quite regularly, then please do subscribe to the channel because it means you can keep up to date with everything that we do as a business. Um, if you do hit the bell icon, you will be notified when new videos do go up also. Finally, if you do collect salamanders, let us know why you like them in the comments below. Or if you could prefer a different chapter, let us know also. It's really good to chat to you guys. Uh, thanks so much for watching the video. Really appreciate it ever so much. And I'll see you on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye. Thank you.